Paper bead jewelry starts with a triangular strip of paper that has been printed with a unique design. This strip is then rolled up, glazed, and strung on cord to make necklaces, bracelets, and such. These triangular strips of paper are the focus of today's video. I'm going to show you how to use your computer in a program called Affinity Designer to create templates that you can use to make an endless number of designs for your paper bead jewelry or even to sell to others. So stick around. That's what's coming up. For starters, let's talk about the software you're going to need to create your paper strip designs. It's called Affinity Designer 2, and it's an alternative to Adobe's Illustrator. It's way less expensive. It's a one-time purchase of $69 versus Adobe's monthly subscription fee, and it's just as powerful as Illustrator. It's the program that I'm going to use for today's tutorial. And to be clear, I'm not affiliated with Affinity in any way. It's just the software that I like and use. It'll run on a PC or Mac, and there's even a version for the iPad. I've left a link in the description to Affinity's website. Be sure to check the system requirements to see if your computer is up to the task of running this software, as graphics programs can be quite hardware intensive. Again, you'll find the technical specs on the website, link in the description. Okay, let's open up Affinity and get to work. All right, the first thing I want to show you how to do in Affinity Designer 2 is set up a sheet of templates uh, for our paper bead strips. So we're going to go up here and click File. And you'll notice when I click on anything, it turns the center of the yellow highlighted area turns blue. And this indicates that I'm clicking on something. So that might help you out uh, to see what I'm doing. First thing we want to click on is the new for a new file. And we've got lots of preset options here, letter, legal, ledger. We're going to set up at, uh, a letter size document now. So we click on that. And notice there's a blue outline in our preview of our letter document. And this is an indication of where our margins would be. And in this particular uh, scenario, we don't need any margins. So I'm going to come down here to margins and click on it. And then you'll see there's a check mark next to include margins. We're just going to uncheck that so that we don't have the, the blue area showing and we just have a, a full document size. Then we're going to come down here and click Create and our document will pop up in our work area. Now the first thing we want to do is draw a triangle. So we're going to come over here to our triangle tool and click on that. And we're going to come back to our page towards the top and I'm going to click and hold with the left mouse button and drag downward. So I click and hold and drag down, and you see it creates a triangle, and I can make it as wide as I want, and I'm still holding the mouse button down, the left mouse button. When I've got the, the triangle, the size that I want, I just let go of that mouse button, and it creates the, the strip that we're going to use for our paper beads. Now what I want to do is make sure I've got the Move tool selected up here. Click on it go to the center or anywhere within this strip. And I'm going to hold down the control key. It's control key on a PC. On a, a Macintyre, a Mac, it's a the command key, I believe. So we're going to hold down the control key. We're going to left click our mouse button and drag to the right. I'm holding the mouse button down, the left mouse button down. When I got the strip, the triangle in the area that I want, uh, I just let go of everything, the control key, the mouse button, the whole works, and it drops a new a copy of that triangle in, on our uh, documents page. We're going to do this again. Control, hold, click and hold, and drag to the right. And we got our third copy. Control, click and hold, drag to the right. Fourth copy. Control, click and hold, drag to the right. Okay, so now we got five uh, triangles here, and I can click anywhere in the document, and our uh, selection outline goes away. And now, notice over here in our layers palette, each of those triangles is on a separate layer. So what we want to do is create five more of these to fill in this, this blank space here. We don't want to waste uh, page uh, size on uh, empty space, we want as many of our bead uh, strips as we can get on a single page. So we're gonna do what's called mar uh, marquee select. We're gonna click and hold, 
drag across our page and select all of our triangles. Let go of the mouse button and notice we have the selection outline. We're going to come up here to edit and we're going to copy, click that, and then edit again and paste. And notice we got five more triangles over here. So it looks like there's only five to start with, but it shows 10 over here. So what it amounts to is we've got five triangles on top of five triangles. So if you click anywhere in this space, click and hold and drag to the right, you'll see uh, we have two layers of triangles and they all become visible. And we let go once we've got them fairly centered. And now we have the t all 10 triangles that we can see, but we want them where we fill in the space here. So what I'm going to do with the five that we have selected, I'm going to come up here to the flip vertical button and click on that. And it's going to rotate these, uh, or flip them, I guess you would say, uh, triangles 180 degrees. And I click anywhere and it'll do away with our selection guides. And we have all 10 of our triangles ready to go. Now, what I want to do now is, again, marquee select, have the move tool, and select all 10 triangles and somewhere and then click and hold somewhere in the middle and move as I move you see if I move up and down if I go slowly I get this red line that means that I'm in the center in that direction and if I move across I get a green line vertically when I got a red and a green line both that means I'm in the center of the page my objects in the center of the page so I'm gonna let go I'm gonna click in the white space and there is our finished template. Now, we want to save this, and we can use this anytime we need th these particular size triangles or strips. We can just bring this document up and fill it in with whatever design we have. And I'll show you that in just a second. So for starters, let's save this. We'll go up to File, and we want to save as, in this particular case, because it's going to be an affinity file. It's not going to be something that you're going to print out like a JPEG or a a GIF or a, a ping, we're going to save it as an affinity file that we can bring up. And anytime we bring it back up, it'll have all our layers that we can modify if we need to. So click save as, and we'll call this uh, template one or temp one. And then we'll just click save. And now anytime we need this template, we just go to our file that we saved it in, open uh, temp one, and this will pop up. Okay, now you ask, well, what am I going to do with this? Well, for starters, let's go and let's place an image on top of these, these triangles. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Place is what they call it. They don't call it, well, you can open a file, but if you're going, we're going, in this particular case, we're going to put an image on top of these triangles, and we're going to place it. So we click Place. We're going to come up here to this uh, file called B Drawing. Click on it. Click Open. Nothing happens. Well, it's in our clipboard, and we just need to put it in place. And if I, you notice the little circle and, and uh, down arrow here, that means that we're ready to place it. We just need to click and hold where we want to start the image and drag across. I'm still holding the left mouse button down, and we cover our entire page with it. And you'll notice that a layer comes up over here in our Layers panel called B Drawing. And what we want to do now is select all of our triangles and group these together. I should have done that first before I brought this uh, drawing in, but we can do it now. We click the first triangle. We come down to the last triangle, hit the shift key, and click again, and notice it highlights. It highlights them in blue, all of our triangles. So now we're going to add all these triangles together into one uh, group selection. And to do that, we come up here to the Add button, click Add, and notice that everything converts to one layer in this curve that calls it curves. You can click on it and call it anything you want. We'll call it triangle. So that's our triangle uh, layer. And here's where the magic happens. Here's where we're going to put this B drawing in our template, in our triangle template. So we'll click and highlight our B drawing, click and hold and drag down to our triangle and let go. And notice it pops, it pops the design, the image into our triangles. Now, one thing I wanna do at this point, because we've got so much white space in our design, when we go to cut these out with the scissors, it might be hard to follow the edge. 
So I'm going to come over here to what's called stroke. And stroke is another word for outline. And in this case, notice our width of our stroke is zero. So we're going to increase that a little bit. And as we increase it, whoops, we have to have tri we have to have our layer selected to do this. We'll, we'll select our triangle layer, and as we increase the width, notice we get an increased outline width. Now we don't need it that thick. We can put it maybe point point seven, point five points, point five pt, and that gives us an outline and uh, something to follow with the scissors. All right, so that's our first example. On our second example, we're going to go ahead and delete this folder, or this file. Go up here to the X and delete it. So here we are with a blank uh, set up in uh, Affinity Designer 2. To get started again, we're going to go to File, and in this time, instead of a new file, we're going to open our template. So we go Open, and here's our template, Template 1. We click on it, click Open, and there they are, all our triangles ready to go again. Now. I'm going to group these together this time. And the, the way I can do this, I could select it here, shift and here, and then uh, group them all together with the add. But what I want to do is marquee select them like this. And notice it highlights them all that way. It's the same process, you know, one six and one half dozen the other. But now that we've got them all selected, I just go to the add button. And again, it drops them all into to one layer. We'll rename this triangle. And we're ready to go. Click in our white space and our selection outline goes away. Now we're going to go back up here to file and we're going to place again. And we're going to take this photograph here I took a few years back. We're going to open it. We're going to just put it, click and drag and put it in the middle of our page. Now what this is, is a photograph that I took of an old barbecue that I had out in the backyard that had gotten old and rusted and it created this really cool pattern. At least I thought it was cool. So I took a photograph of it and we're going to use this to make some bead strips. Now notice when I put it here, these little noids came up on the sides and the corners. If you grab one of the noids, click and hold one of the noids in the corner, you can stretch it, make it smaller or make it larger. We can also grab the, the nodes on the side and stretch it to fit our document. Stretch it to the sides. And I'm just clicking and holding the node and dragging it. And notice when I get close to the edge of the document, it snaps to the document. And the reason for this is because I've got this little magnetic snapping tool selected up here. And that's really, really helpful when you're trying to fit things. If it does, if it's not snapping for you, just click that button and you'll have the snap feature turned on. So I'm going to click and hold this noid, drag it up. So now we've got our image the size of our document. And notice we have a layer over here for our image called Barbecue Rust. Now, all we have to do to put the image inside our uh, template is click the uh, Barbecue Rust layer, drag, click and hold, and drag down to our template, our triangles, and let go. And there they are. Boom. I think those are cool. I think those will look really nice as, uh, as beads. So it's that easy. Uh, we can save this, go to File, and we want to actually export this because we're going to export it as a file that's printable, uh, like a JPEG or a ping, or I use JPEGs, JPEGs and pings for all of my printable stuff. So we'll leave it as a JPEG. Export, click Export, and give it a name. We'll call it uh, Rust Strips. And then we've got that file that we can uh, print out on whatever paper we need, whether it's cardstock or regular uh, copy paper, and have bead strips ready to cut out. Okay, I've got one more example that I want to show you. We're going to delete this one because we've already saved it. No, I don't want to save it again. Okay, one more example. We're going to go to File, and we're going to open up our template again. There's our template one. Click open, and our document pops open with our triangles. Uh, we need to go ahead and group all these together again. So we select that one, 
We select shift in the bottom one and all of these are highlighted. Again, we can do it the other way. We can marquee select all these and they're instantly highlighted. And we want to add these together, make them one object instead of this 10 different triangles. So I click on the add button. It drops them all into curves. Just for the sake of knowing what we're doing, we're going to call it triangle. So we're not confusing by using curves. All right. We're going to click in the white space and get rid of our uh, selection outline. Now we've got our template up. It's grouped together. We can uh, put whatever we want to inside of these triangle strips. So I want to show you something new here. Uh, we want to go up to the window menu, click on that, and come down and make sure that the stock menu item has a check mark next to it. And when we do that, notice it's got the check mark here. When we do that, this little menu pops up with a P in it. And this is where we can draw from uh, stock photographs. And these are free. They're uh, included within Affinity Photo or excuse me, this is Affinity Designer. And we've got two options. We've got Pixel and Pixabay. And we can use either one of these sites and import files into Affinity with them. And the way you do that is you go up to the little search bar right there and you type in whatever you want. If you wanted to search for flowers or people or places, uh, or you can use adjectives like colorful, Type that in, colorful, and then hit the enter key. And then all these images show up, all these photographs and designs that we can draw from. So let's look down here and find something that looks interesting. Oh, there's a bunch of them that are so cool. Let's do this one right here. It's called Z Pictures. So I click on it, click and hold, and drag it into my image and, or into my template and let go. And the image is now sitting on its own layer. It's called image. Now we can change the size of it if we need to, or we can leave it like it is. Let's bring it in a little bit. If we wanted to get to the top of this, we could use this little slider and slide up there. This way, it was a big picture. We can grab this noid and bring it down. We can drag the slider down to the bottom, bring this up, get it to fit our document just right then bring our document back. And then again, to make the magic, we grab the image and click and hold and drag it down to our template and let go. And there they are, instant strips. I just think that's so cool and really easy. And think about all the times you've purchased this type of stuff. And if you want to, you can start designing your own strips to sell. Uh, really cool way to make a little extra money, man, a little side hustle. So. All right, so that's three examples of how to make these. Um, I'm going to take the template and download it, or upload it, I should say, and put it in the description of the video so that if you can actually use it if you uh, get you a copy of Affinity Designer 2. And right now it sells for, I think it's around 69 bucks. Occasionally they have it on sale. I don't know if it's going to come back up for sale or not, but right, right now it's $69. $69. Uh, the alternative is Photoshop or uh, Photo Illustrator, Photoshop Illustrator. Uh, both are monthly fee-based prescription subscriptions. Uh, I got tired of doing that, too expensive, so I, I bought this license, uh, Affinity Designer 2 license. It's a lifetime license for the 69 bucks. You can make the bead strips and a lot of other different things with this. Uh, Something to consider. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, got something out of it, and I hope you're headed now over to the Affinity site and get you a copy of this and start making bead strips. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.